Und damit ein herzliches Willkommen und hallo zu einer Part Let's Play Fake Red Order. Ich bin der Sam Smurfix, ja, wir sind immer noch im Sam Event und sind wir letztes Mal in äh, diese seltsame Villa gekommen. Dort äh, sind wir auf, schon auf eigenartige Kreaturen gestoßen und die Frage ist natürlich, was es äh, genau mit diesem Gebäude hier verbirgt. Wir nehmen eine Kastorium. Salieri ausnahmsweise mal und äh, werden einfach mal uns hier jetzt weiter durchschlagen, in der Hoffnung, dass wir den Ursprung dieses äh, Gebäudes herausfinden. Ja, dazu haben wir auch noch gesehen, dass äh, auf einmal wir weiblich sind, wieso auch immer. Das wird ziemlich wie im Museum. Is that? No, wait, it's not. Indeed, these are not our allies, they are Vox figures. Oh, Vox figure, no, Kabinett, oh. Oh my, they just look like the real thing. But who would make this and why? That I cannot say. What I can say is that I find it a bit unnerving. To be surrounded by an unblinking identical facility of a familiar Alice in this manner. Man, you humans really love making replicas of yourself, don't you? Personally, I don't know what you get out of it. Ah, ah, ah. Sie stirbt bitte. Oh, Lord on you. Lord on you. I'm afraid that's a wax figure of him as well. Though, it does look in desirable form. And it's such a man. Get a glass of stick mesh. Because you obviously need a new perception. How could you possibly mistake this? Think for a real Lord on you in all its glory. How dare whoever made this appealing invitation attempt to pass a uh, so fast anything approaching his majesty. Just look at this. This spike here is offered by 1.8 degrees. These check curves are nowhere near as supple and don't even get me started on the thickness of his left little finger second joint. Do you think her standards here might just be a little, um, impossible? No, I can understand. An invitation of the one you love must be perfect in every way. I have no doubt I would be just as uncomprehensive if he were to come the figure of Lord Yoshinaka as well. <laughs> Who was that? <laughs> However, this voice is coming from. I should be able to find it uh, source with my VR mind's eye. Oh, got this. It's actually worked. There they are. Nurse Ram. Mm, oh, you found me. I guess it's the end of the hide and seek. Nursery. Are you the one who emulated Lord Chan Yu with this pathetic look? Because if you are, I'm going to make you wish you had never had such sheet of works. No, that was me. I'm just st staying here playing. That's my role after all. The, um, the girl in the mansion. I'm neither friend nor foe. That's why I was able to Be the girl's companion. Just like the bird in the gilly cage or the sleeping beauty, even a lily would be the lonesome if it were all by itself. A lily. The girl you're talking about, is it Lily? Is she here in the mansion? Oh yeah, she's being held captive here. But don't worry, she may be asleep right now, but she is hale and hearty. We said that uh, we shared stories about so many things. Uh, speaking of stories, she said she's uh, waiting eagerly for a new one to be written. Mm, a new story. Sounds wonderful to me too. How exciting. How thrilling. I'd have to be the next one to read it after she does. I just know it's going to be great. It's the first story ending. Just had a terrible mistake after all. So I'm positive the sequel will end with something as sweet and satisfying as Kenny. I'm so excited. I can't wait for Mr. Surprise of years writing the little mermaid too. Did you say the little mermaid? It is in the Hunt Christian Anderson story. Now that you mention it, Lilian Scarlet did say he was writing something for her. Just that the little story little was the little mermaid too. Gibt von Disney schon. Yes, that's right. Oh, I'm so glad. No book can be born unless it's after one to write it, after all. Now, my dear though, you said she's been held captive. Can you tell us where she is? Hmm, you 
want to know where she is, do you? Well, like I said, I need a friend, no foe. Why don't we play a game? There are so many dolls here after all. Wind up dolls, wax dolls and also... Hmm. Ah, nice and red. Let's go after. Did you ever see a lassie? A lassie, a lassie. Please come back, nursery. Did you ever see a lassie go away and dead? Hmm, I can't go back now. No, and that wouldn't be fun at all. See, here comes my friends now. Hmm, a new type of doll, huh? These certainly are in Western style laws. I couldn't care less about that. Damn, they sure are big, aren't they? Definitely got a different air about them, that's for sure. They seem to be eager for a fight. If they mean to block a path, then. Indeed. Love has time to destroy anything so cute as to this toss. I do not see any alternative. <laughs> then these are supposed to be cute. Of course, I think they are cute too. But we still have to take them out. Ähm, wir fangen auf, ihr habt die falsche Party ausgewählt. Deswegen müssen wir jetzt gleich, gleich nochmal den Kopf neu starten, weil ich glaube, mit unserem Ari Salieri ohne Damage Opti werden wir sonst hier nicht schaffen, beziehungsweise eine halbe Stunde kämpfen. Deswegen machen wir das glatt nochmal neu. Das tut mir jetzt sehr leid. Aber im zweiten Fall werden wir das dann mit Salieri Lupen versuchen. So, also fällt ihr doch echt dem einen oder anderen mal auf, dass irgendwas mit unserer Lilly nicht stimmt. Wer hätte damit gerechnet, liebe Leute? <lacht> Vielleicht dieses seltsame Mädchen, was er hier seltsam sich aufführt und irgendwie so unendlich stark ist. Aber das offiziell wissen wir das ja nicht, weil wir das immer ignorieren. Vielleicht steckt da echt mehr dahinter. Ich, mich wundert es auch. So, jetzt Zeit lang rummachen. Einfach zack, surfen wir raus und irgendwann... Warte mal, ich könnte zwar ja, ich wollte jetzt äh, Nobu nehmen, aber wenn wir schon mal die Chance haben, dann will wir einen unserer Assassins Freunde und zwar in diesem Fall immer Boy. So, so und schon sind wir wieder da. Kleine Unterbrechung. Und danach, wie gesagt, seid ihr Rupen. Leute, ich, wir, es muss klappen, liebe Leute. Schauen wir mal, ob besser Loop der Space ist da. Nee. Yeah, yeah. Aber zumindest ein wenig. Fatal Battle. Übrigens, äh, haben wir das eigentlich aufgegeben mit den Horrorfilmen? Oder sind wir jetzt in irgendeinem Wachshorror? Ich glaube, im Endeffekt, wir sind jetzt äh, fertig mit unserer Horrorspiel Horrorfilm-Anspielung. Jetzt geht langsam dann ins Eingemachte. Um herauszufinden, was der Ursprung ist. Denn ich weiß ehrlich gesagt nicht, ob... Session hier der Ursprung ist oder der wahre Ursprung. Geh auf Castoria! Geh auf Castoria, die überlebt es! Oder ob äh, Lilly hier der Ursprung ist. Es ist echt äh, noch nicht eindeutig, aber ich denke, wir werden das schon erfahren noch. So, ich glaube, das ist ein Pi lang. Epi 3, liebe Leute. Locker! Und jetzt schauen wir mal den Refund an. Oh, 77 Prozent, Baby! Echt nicht schlecht, Mann. So, und direkt die nächste Aufgabe füllt, dass wir auch schön weitermachen können mit der Hauptsäule. So, gehört sich das. So! Das ist immer äh, etwas, was ich so in Events nicht mag, weil man die ganze Zeit Sidequests, Sidequests erfüllen muss, Sidequests erfüllen muss. Aber da ich im Vorhinein schon immer ein bisschen grinde, äh, haben wir jetzt hier das Glück gehabt, dass wir direkt weitermachen können. Also, zack. Da ist sie. Ihr habt sie gefunden. Sie ist im Shop die ganze Zeit gewesen. So. Schauen wir uns weiter um. Und the sun is setting. Damit wir dann direkt mit der nächsten Aufgabe anfangen können. Mir wurscht, ob, die, ob das sich ändert oder nicht. Wir haben schon hinbekommen, liebe Leute. So, und jetzt, wenn es erlaubt ist, würde ich ganz gerne bitte nochmal hier das mit dieser lustigen Salieri-Party versuchen. Äh, wo sind wir? Do. Jo, passt. Und jetzt Versuch Nummer 2. Das Summer Servant Events. 
67 Nightmare Illusion Part 2. Damn, damn, damn. Und jetzt heißt es nur so Ryan Plop machen, oder? Ja, yeah, she went down that staircase. Let's go after. Master Lock over there. Hm. Sie hat ja gesagt, sie macht irgendwas, was, äh, was uns nicht gefallen wird. It's Lady Lily. She appears to be fast asleep. Alright. I think we had better get her out of... Huh. It seems she's in a cage made of magic energy. Made in a very strong cage at that. Session, Lily. Lily! It doesn't seem like noise will wake her up. Furthermore... We can't destroy the cage. Not without risking her life at any rate. What about the uh, runes? Could he use them to open the cage? I'm sure that we could, but it uh, would take some time to analyze the lock. So I think it would be faster if we look for a key instead. Makes sense. Unfortunately, I can't see any signs of a lock or key in this cage. It's made of magic energy after all. Look over there. And a description on the wall. Oh, so there is. Let me see what it says. Sacrifice living reed out to unveiling steel. And the unseen cage captive will be freed. I wonder what it means. Oh, an environmental puzzle. There must be a more to this room than meets the eye. Come, let us look for the unveiling steel and living red. Understood. We search the area over there by the pillar. Of course, honey. I'd be happy to join you. Immer diese Twirteltaum. Perhaps this fragment will fit neatly into this hollow. No, it seems not. Too bad. I really thought I had found something there. There doesn't seem to be much in the way of obvious clues are here. Does there? Hmm. This won't do at all. I think I give it just a little help. Huh? Now the different doors are teaming up. It seems we will not have the luxury of proceeding at our own pace. Dread. They even have wax figures with them. They're forcing this forward with such an awkward stuttering movement. It's so creepy to look at it. True. There's something disturbing about going up against such lifelike look alikes. Ah, please tell me the pathetic exilfer Lord Chanyu isn't among them. I don't know what I'd do if I was. I could never destroy it myself, no matter how poorly it's made. But I also couldn't bear to let anyone else destroy it. On the other hand, I just can't let it attack us. It seems we must uh, put our hunt for clues on hold while we attend to this more pressing matter. Lord Sigurd Lady Brunhild would you too? Huh? Lord Sigurd Lady Brunhild? Where did they go? Turtle Tauben. Was? Okay, jetzt muss ich, jetzt muss ich natürlich hier mit ähm, ähm, Tommy ja leider kämpfen, weil Yu hat wieder Depressionen und die anderen, die flirten irgendwo rum. So kenne ich meine verlässlichen, super tollen Servern. So mag ich das. Fatal Battle. Oh, er taunt. Glaubst du, das interessiert mich, Mann? Wer braucht schon Taunts, liebe Leute, wenn er loopen kann, Mann? Und besonders, wenn er eine AV empiert. <lacht> Einmal, zweimal und dann schauen wir, was hier für Big Damage rauskommt. Hm, soll ich es aktivieren oder lassen wir es, oder? Und dann... <lacht> Big Salieri Damage! Oder ein bisschen Salieri Damage zumindest. So, 50% ist das Ziel. Hunderteils, liebe Leute! Ja, sauber! Ich war, Mir hätten jetzt 50% vollkommen gereicht, Mann. Nicht schlecht, Herr Salieri, nicht schlecht. Ich hätte nicht gedacht, dass es so gut refundet. Warte, er hat jetzt keine Damage-Option? Das interessiert mich jetzt gleich. 
meine. Nicht ganz mit meiner Space Station kann er mithalten. Nicht ganz. Aber trotzdem. Ja, mal. Ganz, äh, ganz akzeptabel Damage. Ich meine, jedem so 50.000. Also, wie gesagt, dafür, dass er ein Freestyle ist, dafür, dass ich seine Skills jetzt nicht groß gelevelt habe. Echt nicht schlecht. So, jetzt haben wir hier noch die beiden Skills. Mal noch das Defense dann. Hä? Ich hab. Ich hab eigentlich. Ach so, ja, ich ist ja taunt. Alter. Müssen da schon wieder jetzt zwar Pasta Kanto kommen, Mann. Ja, Nein, hat jetzt überlebt, gell? Okay, okay sechs Schaden. Das soll man bekommen. Aber schön! Äh, uh, wusste gar nicht, dass der uh, so komplett verfanden hat. Ich dachte, Salia ist einer dieser Looper, die so ein bisschen wie Gill oder so. So ein großer Problem mit Loop Hopper Way. Gut, I'm a fry liebe Leute. Sehr Respekt an meinen erwerten Herrn Künstler. So, und wenn es erlaubt ist, weg mit den Puppen, weg mit dem seltsamen Gilde Ray. Gilde Ray ist auch Wachspuppe nicht schöner. Und dann weiter. Das ist so many of them. Und you ist wieder tot. Immerhin. What happened to you? Yeah, yeah, I died again. There really wasn't anything I could have done this time. This was death from Lodge on you. I missed all the chaos of battle. I saw that wax figure of Lodge on you get knocked off the next to a torch. It hit the torch and started melting really, really fast. So before I knew what I was doing, I ran over to it and held it in my arms. I guess he wasn't just made of it of wax because he started burning so hard. I have caught on fire along with him. But I don't forget a thing. I'd do it all over again if I had to do. I wouldn't be able to stop myself if I wanted to. You, du bist echt nicht die Hälfte. <laughs> After all, pale imitation or not, it was still lot on you. So that is why the dolls were so unusually difficult to defeat. Alright, maybe I, I have a few regrets. <laughs> it wasn't really lot on you. After all, plus, now that it's melted, it's just a pile of colored wax. Ah. Please, don't feel bad about this. I can understand why you did this, what you did. Same, on a different note. Where's Sigurd and Brynhild? Not that you mention it. I haven't seen them for a while either. Maybe they went to investigate somewhere else before we were attacked. There seems to be no end of these stars. It feels as though so we are on the scripted in-game event with infinite spawning enemies. It's just stört die Spawnpunkte. In events like this, the only uh, way to escape is to complete some tasks that advance the story. If that applies here as well, maybe there is something else we should be doing, hm? Ah. Sie aufwecken, oder? Lady Mesh, look! They are in the cage! Lady just rolled over! Do you see uh, that thing beneath her? Yes, I do! I don't notice it before, but it looks like some sort of metal plate. There seems to be something written in there as well. Let's see, Mori, as in the Japanese word for forest. It could be the Latin word, which I think means death. I f definitely remember the famous Latin expression, Mento Mori, which means remember that death is inevitable. I see. So if the word death is inscribed on this metal plate, does it mean? Does the unliving steel that riddle mention? I guess that's what we're supposed to sacrifice the living red to then, whenever it could be. Then have we have you, right? Indeed, so it would seem. I can't believe I did it again. The pillar is dripping with blood. What are they two doing back there? Don't tell me you were. Hey, we have a tote you lang this nicht. We are not. This uh, had nothing to do with the. Uh, with my beloved uh, overwhelming desire here while we were alone in the dark. And everything to do with the ritual we cut to open this cage. Of course, we are. Uh, we are not for my guts. I still have died. Leute, wie viel Guts hat er? Er ist doch einfach ziemlich so mächtig wie Herk. I believe the living red mentioned in the riddle refers to freshly spilled blood. If true, it would have mean one of us must spill some blood in order to open the cage. So I decided it should be the one to do so. Thank you, my beloved. Everything just worked out as planned. And it's all thanks to you. I really? Well, you sure? Then maybe you're right. Of course, there's no doubt in my mind whatsoever. Now come, let's apply some of this blood to the metal plate there. Yeah. 
it's working, they catch melting away. Ah, goody, it worked. I thought this uh, with the doors might draw some blood, but I guess this doors weren't strong enough for that. Hmm, I wonder if this will lead to a happy ending or a sad ending. Oh, but I'm getting ahead of myself. Maybe the story won't end at all. Only the author can say, one way or another. All we characters in their story can do is sing until the last page turned. There were two birds sitting on a stone. Fa la 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 la. One flew away and then there was one. Fa la 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 la. The other flew and then there was none. Fa la 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 la. And so the poor stone was left alone alone. Tala song. Really? Are you alright? Mm, where am I? So I don't remember how you got here. Granted, we are still not sure what happened here ourselves. How I knows when we got back from the dream world, we were nowhere to be found. Remember? Now I knew. I wanted this. I had to be captured like this. I had to experience the ritual of being set free from a cage in order to open up the cage inside me. Mesh, get back. Huh? Oh, it feels so good to be finally free. I can stretch again. What a delight. Who are you? Oh, yes. I suppose I should introduce myself, shouldn't I? Especially to you. <laughs> good day, everyone. My name is Sesyon Kiara. I do hope you have been enjoying the summer illusions. No way, are you? Lily's mother? <laughs> I am not, you look so similar, then I just so similar. Oh, leider waren sie hat sich gerade mit einer Bestie angelegt, weil das, das tut weh. Think Lady Mesh, you seem to be forgetting one simple fact. Simons do not have mothers. Oh, why don't you mention it? They don't, do they? Das war der härteste Diss, den Mesh jemals ausgeteilt hat. <laughs> Wait on a second thought, that rule may not apply for pseudo sounds. Then I suppose you are Lady's, ma Lady Lady's mother. Should we dress you as Madame Session then? <laughs> oh, thank you. I needed a love. Ah, but I felt there was not a joke. Then I failed to see the humor in a tasteless and baseless assertion. I might go so far as such an absurd notion is even offensive. So offensive fact that I may just withdraw the hand I'm using to save you by scoping the lot of you out of the present predicament. Save us? What did you mean, save us? From what? Hmm, good question. My way of introduction permit me to reveal a small part of who I am. <laughs> oh yeah, I knew all about it. These days you can't go to two trees in the mountain without running into a giggle of camping hardies. And yet, for some reason, the only thing that are wandering into my tent are noisy buzzing insects. How am I gonna ever make fantasies of pretty girls mistakenly finding her way into my tent, followed by a sleeping bag? Come true now. Don't tell me I gave up my pirate life to live out here on the mountain for nothing. Damn it. This ain't good. I'm running the English law on A. Kenny. Well, then maybe I'll take a page from my usual uh, playbook. Yeah, that's it. What sums up better than a servant fest? Babes everywhere, you look, dreams coming true left and right. Now this is what I call heaven on earth. Wie auch wir, wir wurden auch schon mal in die verschiedenen Etappen gebracht. <laughs> and you like mountain for a reason. Don't really take me back to the days at Mount Aoi. There's nothing like uh, going around kidnapping beetles left and right, all the fierce ammonia I am. Sure, all the beetles on this mountain might die out if I completely fill up my beetle cage. But why should I care? I find my money. If you want me to stop breaking things, then bring me tribute. Oh, I know. For everything my crown you bring me, I really accept one beetle. But hey, I'm reasonable. I accept shaved ice too. Damn it. I'm hungry. I wonder if Rattle Guy make me something if I bring up some beetles. Huh. I didn't know there was a place up like this in the mountain. To, as Zuckerdorf aus the prison event. 
And the sun would be totally worth talking, uh, taking ourselves. I have to let Shut know about it too. But first, let's see what these candy houses taste like. Sie macht alle Träume wahr. What was that? What did you do to them? Not as difficult to answer. All I can say right now is that I have made them happy. Those other worlds we caught glimpse of must be illusions, and it seemed to me as thought Lord Blackburn Lady Rakidoji disappeared inside them. Yes, that's right. Now all living quite a happy illusion created from their own dreams. What's wrong with an happy illusion? If the happiness is genuine, that is the source of an is an illusion should not matter. In the singularity, there are really only two dangers one can survive. Live other days in a dream or live them in an illusion. All I'm doing is showing I run away. Of course, should one try to resist the treatment, then it even the most potent drug should become a poison. Indeed, should one insist to have the desire for happiness well, it should be no surprise if something else swallows them up. If one failed to protect someone to use them, or failed to reach their dearly desired destination, or decide to submit rather than rebel, well, it's no wonder they would end up being consumed by nightmares. Then, you did it to those people in the hotel. <laughs> I can't be held responsible if they never learned to relax while they sleep. Now then. I still have for us, it has been uh, awake again. It seems I woke up a bit early. Now my voice remain unchanged. I would be the height of rudeness to let something slip through my fingers just because I've not yet fully roused myself. I do hope you won't mind if I just take a little time to myself to freshen up. <laughs> Please talk about speaking in riddles and wage crap. What was that servant deal? I'm not sure. I can't uh, tell what connection she has to the leader. But given what she said about the dream hotel, I can only assume that she plays a key part in what's ever going on here. Agreed. That was uh, fun boss energy uh, I have ever seen it. So does this mean uh, the beautiful woman session care is the one responsible for the singularity? If she is, I guess that makes her the enemy. Why well, there are some parts of the still neck at me, I do think it's fundamentally correct. What is nagging at you? Well, I suppose it's more a feeling that something's off. If Lily's mother, no, that's not right. If this mysterious relative of Lily's session Carol is responsible for the singularity, then what are we to make of this mountain? True, there's still much we don't know about what this mountain really is. Yes, exactly. You make an excellent point, my beloved Brilliant. I'll be sure to keep your concerns in mind. In the meantime, I think we are done with this place for now. Yes, there doesn't seem to be anything more we can do for the time being. When I will return to the cottage. That sounds good to me. Shall we go back, Master? Hmm. Also, im Endeffekt mit noch mehr Fragen als Antworten sind wir herausgegangen. Und ich weiß immer noch nicht, wie, irgendwie so haben wir nie eine Antwort bekommen, wieso wir eigentlich hier weiblich sind anstatt männlich. Haben wir nie eine Antwort bekommen, aber so ist es halt. Nun gut, liebe Leute, ich würde sagen, dann machen wir jetzt an dieser Stelle erstmal einen kleinen Cut und beim nächsten Mal geht's weiter dann mit Kapitel Nummer 8. Bis dahin und vielen Dank fürs Zuschauen. Ciao!